there we go. Okay, so I wanted to uh, send you a quick video and show you a little bit about uh, the flexibility of carbon fiber. Uh, here we've got one of our seats. Uh, I know one of your concerns for yourself and your customers is that the edges are a little bit too flexible, too thin, too pliable. Um, this is actually the cutoff, the scrap cutoff from the side of a seat. It didn't come off of this seat, but it came off of another seat, uh, so it doesn't quite match up, but you get the idea. Uh, what we've got here is this is the exact same strength and flexibility as the edge of the seats and I want you to see that uh, carbon fiber when produced correctly isn't prone to fracture, it isn't prone to breakage. So when you see something uh, even as, as thin as this, um, what you uh, don't realize unlike fiberglass, unlike aluminum, unlike other materials, you can actually bend this and twist this several times over uh, without any crack, breakage, fracture of any sort. Um, you've got a really, really strong piece, and in fact, this is fairly strong. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't bend or move too easily, uh, and then it pops back into the original shape. That's the great thing about carbon fiber, is it always flexes right back into the original shape it was molded into, the place where it cured. So we can bend this in whatever ways we want, um, and even if you put a crease in it, you hear that? Even when you put a crease in it, it still pops right back as long as it hasn't gone uh, past the point where it's going to fracture this gel coat on the surface. The actual carbon fiber itself won't fracture, um, but you can fracture the gel coat surface if you bend it too far. Uh, so if I, if I continued bending it so that it made that noise and was continuing to pop, it would probably fracture after doing that hundreds of times or dozens of times. Um, but I just wanted to explain to you that, uh, that it, it is very flexible uh, and it is very, very difficult to get to break. Now if I tried to fold this in half like a piece of paper, I could probably get it to break. But even then, uh, th there's no way you're going to fold that seat in half in such a way. Uh, so uh, another thing I wanted to explain is with these doors. Uh, this is an example of the difference with a seat between being mounted to a car and not mounted to a car. This is a door with no inner structure. Uh, you're looking at a door that's very flexible and very pliable. As you can see, uh, it moves quite easily. There's not much stopping it from moving. This is like a seat that hasn't been mounted. So now, if we compare that to a door that does have an inner structure, uh, this door is very rigid, very strong. It doesn't move. There's not much flex to it. There's almost nothing to it. So that's why it's very important that the seat be mounted rigidly into a car, into a frame, that people can see how it mounts into the car and see how important it is to keep the, the piece from moving. As you can see, the only place where the two sides don't touch is the only place where it's flexible. Everywhere else, it's very, very strong and very, very rigid and doesn't move much whatsoever.